Hey guys, what's going on? It's been a long time since I did a video like this of me actually talking. But, just give you a couple updates right now and what I've been working on. I haven't been uploading much videos. So this is what it is the time killer. This is what I've been working on. You're right, it's a demolition derby car. This year for the Whiteside County Fair, I am building a demolition derby car. What it is, is a 1994 Oldsmobile Cutlass Sierra S. It was given to me by my father and what it has has a 3.1 liter V6 so that means it's in the mid-size class for, my de for the this year's demolition derby. Still got some problems to work out on it just with the spark plug wires and that's about it. So the demolition derby is less than a week away and I still got some stuff to do. It The rules require for you, I don't think you guys can see it, but um, I'll take a pic I'll get a picture at the end of the video. But on the other side, about right there behind the driver's seat, a beam has to go from that side to right here, right there. And then also the tank fuel tank has to be um, in the back seat, and you just can't use the original fuel tank. You got to have a marine tank or a fuel cell. But we've got somebody who has um, a marine tank. Um, you see, I'm not going to weld up the doors. I'm just going to chain them and then run some duct tape around here. And that's about it. So, I got almost all the glass out. At the end of the video, I'm going to be posting pictures of what I accidentally did to the rear window. I was trying to get it out and I broke it. So, I'm not going to clean up the whole mess yet. Go to the back. The bumper's not that great. It's got some rust on it. I'll go get a light. So you guys can see. Okay guys, I'm back. And now I've got a light. Um, just show you the problem with the rear bumper. See that? It's rusted on the bottom. So, that's not good, but at least I got a little structure integrity on the top. I couldn't stomp on that really hard and it doesn't crumple. The bottom did when I stomped on it. So. But a rear bumper, the stock bumper, right now I can't find a rear bumper for it, but this will have to do, okay? But the front bumper that you guys seen, that is stock. This car was pretty much made for old ladies, so you have to be safe, you know, safe first. Um, I'm not taking out the dash because the rules don't um, require you taking out the dash. It's safer to leave it in, but you can see the Oldsmobile symbol right there, it's upside down. But I got pretty much all the interior stripped down. I'm just going to leave the seat stuff in. I meant seat belts. But, I'll give you a better look of the front bumper. There. It's pretty solid. I mean, my hand's really big and it's really solid. Um, got, I just took the front um, fan off and we taking off this rubbery stuff and um, these batteries right here, still sitting right here. And I've got Less than the, there's two demolition derbies, okay? One of them is on Tuesday, August 17th. The other one is on Saturday, August 20th. If I don't make it to the Tuesday's one, I'm going to be booking it to the Saturday's one. So, that's my deal with it. And I accidentally, um, you're going to love this. I accidentally cut a field line in these jumble wires. I don't know why I didn't check those. Because when I was cutting wires over there, I was checking each one I cut, and then those were good, and then I come over to here, and for some reason I just cut that whole bunch, and then try to start the car, and it didn't work. So, call me dumb, because I am. So, anyway, the only um, weakness I can find on the car is the front fenders, because listen to this. I pretty much, oh wow. Pretty much just kick it, and the oh, that's why it's rust in there. Don't you see that little rod in there? I don't think the other one's like that, but these fenders are not that great. See, this one's still connected, but the fenders are not that great. Front fenders, anyway, that's my weak spot. Um, tires I've got a no spare tire, got a donut right there. The car's pretty much almost done painted orange and black, and then on the top, if I move all that crap, that's gonna be orange right here and black right here. I bet you can tell that. But I got a glass to clean up because we... Anyway, 
we took out the windshield um, really quick way but there's a mess you just smash all around it and with a hammer and then just push it out what I've got is because I'm lazy I um, took all the outside glass okay um, and put and um, left the inside in there because that stuff is really tough to get out and then just covered it in duct tape and we do the same thing with the back it's really simple I don't think it's legal but I don't care but my first year at Demolition Derby um, it's going to be a blast so stay tuned for more updates about this car and that's what I just noticed there's a hole right over there didn't you see it light showing through it and I noticed this a little while ago there's a hole right there I think there's another one too I mean, we just drove the hell out of this car. Now go over to the driver's side. Show you how many miles is on it. It's got a lot. And a lot. So, I got a cool locking system too. So, I can just, this lock thing, I just got to do is just pull it forward a little. And, door opens. But, you can see. No, you can't see. But, you could see it's got 202,000 miles on it and we drove the hell out of this thing um, you can just pretty much tell by the shape it's in it's driven in the winter a while we got stuck in last winter and a whole bunch of crap but the engine's still good it's just that we gotta get this spark plug right here and we got and we've got a new one but I'm not gonna show you a video of that putting it in so windshield wipers everything that's pretty much out. Only thing that we have to do is the fuel, fix the fuel lines. Okay, now you guys can get a better look. See, right there between the rear door and the passenger door, right in the middle of there, we gotta have a bar going from over there to over here. It's gotta be one straight bar. Okay, the safety regulation. So, we got that, the battery, that's going to the passenger seat, fuel, and then chain up the doors, and the trunk and hood, and then we'll be done, but I don't think I'm going to get it done. I think this might be going into some other derby, I'm not sure. If all for him racing can get his car, his big Lincoln done in four days, I think I can get this done in a week. So see you guys later.